Hello everyone, welcome back. We're doing another summary video of our Minecraft stream. Now, we missed a week. So, please consider this to be both episodes, I think, four and five. Lawrence did an episode four, but Lawrence wasn't here for stream number four. So, he did a summary of what he missed. Whereas for us, it was, well for me, it was mostly just building, and mostly it was this building over here that we can see in the distance. Um, we spent a lot of time growing the trees necessary for this, playing with chisel, stuff like that. In fact, we learned a lot about chisel. Um, all of these are, oh, spiders, okay. Uh, all these are chiseled wool. There's a lot of nice carpet around here. Um, I think we found that if you uh, try to craft, because you can make a, a actual carpet. There's thin carpet available in Minecraft itself, which, goes on the surface of other blocks, but carpet it is created from two pieces of wool. But it would seem to me that you can't create a uh, piece of carpet from chiseled wool, so you can't have the chiseled carpet, or at least if you can, let's go and find a crafting table, because uh, I don't have one here, apparently. Uh, crafting bench. Anything, table. Just a vanilla one, it's fine. There we go. If you try and, let's see what happens if you try and craft these. I haven't even tried this actually, it, it didn't occur to me to do so. Uh, and then, I guess we need another piece. You go in there and then, do I get two pieces this way? No. Can I make more like this? Oh, that's straight up, I see. Oh, interesting. Oh, hang on, uses. So if we make, hang on, let's make this wool. I'll show you how the chisel works as well. Uh, let's take some wool. Give me a lot. There we go. Uh, you go away, click to delete, click, click to delete. Thank you. Click to delete. So the chisel, I think we talked about it last time, but we've actually started playing with it this time. Um, not from this one, the chisel mod chisel, which is this one. It allows you to change uh, use most vanilla blocks into some other pattern. There's only three types of wool though. So let's turn that into that and do this. Right, so you don't get the carpet, but you can always turn it back. Now the chisel in not creative mode will take damage when you do this. But I'm wondering now if, what if we put this in here? You can turn, okay, you can make carpet into chiseled carpet. But the other thing you'll notice about these is see how they have what we call connected textures, which is if they are next to each other, then the textures will be connected. If you put them individually, they aren't connected. Oh, they do. Hmm. Now, I was under the impression that these do not have connected textures. But now that I've learned that they do, I, I really like that. Uh, and look how you can see the thing underneath it. So if we hmm, were to use oak and then this on top, uh, no, you can't see the thing underneath it. That's the thing next to it. Well, then what if we just had oak next to it? Does that look nice? I've suddenly started experimenting again. So this is what happened in the first of the two streams, the one that I didn't do a summary for, which was that I started playing around with these patterns in the ground and stuff like this, uh, and carpets and things. But uh, wool was very hard to come by in survival mode, so we didn't really get very far. Um, I, I have a lot of wool in my inventory on the server, and you can go and check out the VODs if you want to see that. Um, but I ended up putting just horrible patterns down just to use the wool that I had available, because of course you don't, don't just have to make the wool, you have to dye the wool into different colours. You need the wool and the dye, and the white wool is made of string. And we do have a... Um, there's a sheep here. Where are you? There was a sheep here. This sheep here makes brown wool. So, I'm not very much of it at that, so I ended up with some brown bits of wool, which is what's in there anyway, and blah blah blah. Uh, green dye, all these different colours of dye, were all made by Lawrence's stuff, which used to be in that little hut down there. Then Mike, in between the last stream and this one, has built this entire mushroom thingy, just based on a, a, a scrawling that I drew when I was thinking about how to make Lawrence's space. And now we have this ice cream sandwich on a stick, which honestly is very impressive, I like this. Um, and we're currently making a garden area. The idea here was that we have a big garden area on top 
uh, so that Lawrence can grow his things. There's no grass up here on purpose because most plants need to be planted on dirt, so we're not bothering with grass. Um, and to get up here in survival mode requires the slime sling, which we all like. Um, Mike made a staircase and then we removed it again because it was harder to climb the staircase than it was to simply put a ledge here and sling up it. I kind of hate this. Um, I'm just going to fix this for my own benefit. Uh, so yeah, it was Mike's fault. It says so here. So here's where all the um, petals are now stored. Someone's gone around and put a thing on them that actually tells you how much is in there, which is amazing. Uh, and these are what I was using to make the dye for the wool. But these are in fairly short supply, at least some colours are, which meant that I couldn't make all the walls that I wanted, and also uh, I couldn't be bothered, <laughs> it took too long. Uh, and we were running out of chisel, uh, durability and things like that, constantly changing between them. But uh, I'll tell you what we did learn though, there's some really cool chisel uh, designs for obsidian, which was uh, suggested to me by chat, the, the kids in chat who were happily watching. Look at all these. Uh, they did suggest that I looked at the obsidian options in chisel and I'm very impressed by the obsidian things that we have here but I never put any of them down in the world because we don't currently currently in survival have a way of um, picking it up again <laughs> this is still a block of obsidian right even though it looks like it's made of wood uh, I'm not really sure what I would use this for see these don't have connected textures they're just stacks of crates full of obsidian, apparently. Um, what else have we got? And of course, you can't uh, chisel things in situ. You can't, you know... Why is that happening? Uh, you can't sneak click or anything to change the block in the world. I'm fairly sure that once upon a time you used to be able to. But not anymore. Or at least not in this version. So these don't have connected textures either. I'm just playing around on, on the camera. Don't... Don't mind me. Because I never got to put these down because we can't pick them up. Now, that may look like connected textures, but of course it's just stripes. They're gonna look connected anyway. So we have a lot of um, chiseled stuff in that building down there. You'll notice the walls are all made of chiseled wood. Um, and of course, making it all in survival, there's only so much of it because we had to keep growing the wood. Now Mike was kind enough whilst he was building this to also plant some trees. And in here now, excuse me, in here now, we have a heckin' lot of eucalyptus wood, um, several stacks of wool and all things like this. But we have finally got to the point where I was trying to get to a while ago, which is that we can now make slabs because we finally did all the quests required to make a few machines. We've actually got machines. Um, and this is what I did in the previous stream. So now we're on episode five. <laughs> episode 4 was just building a bunch of people did a bunch of stuff mostly we didn't do too much progression in episode 4 stream 4 because Lawrence wasn't here and we didn't want to sort of go without him um, and I have realised in fact I thought about this between uh, between then and now oh there's connected textures on these solar panels we were getting these solar panels so we put them on top of here um, we have an energy cell well, let's talk a little bit about this this is thermal expansion, very well established mod. And you can configure these things. This is storing RF, which is electricity by any other name, but it's redstone because it's Minecraft. And these allow you to determine whether each side is going in or going out. So I have on the left input and on the bottom output. But what I also need is on the top input because these should all be connected together right now. Uh, but that wasn't accepting anything at all, which is the other colour, um, in the top. So if these solar panels were on, they wouldn't be filling this up. Although you'll note, it is full, so it's not that big of a deal. I also created the steam dynamo. It takes any combustible thing and any water to produce um, RF. But it's not doing anything because there's no effort to go. In fact, it literally will stop. It doesn't have any efficiency loss it will just stop producing anything if there's nothing to produce which is great uh, i've put a display stand with a little cell so that if you want to if you're feeling uh helpful at any point for some reason you can pick up the cell fill it with water and then you can break everything because you're currently in creative mode but then you would put the water in the thingy and keep it going this is also full of charcoal 
that charges this, and underneath, well, let's have a look. Just do it this way, it's survival mode. Here is our cabling. The cabling is, the, the flux ducts are fairly easy to make. Um, uh, I'm in cheat mode, I have to press R. They are fairly easy to make now. When we first started this, and I was, if you remember, I was looking at the recipes going, what? Um, we're beyond that. We've, we've got over that. Um, so we already have an engineer's workshop. We already have these hammers and things being made. What we're not automating is those things um, yet. And these things are kind of easy to make as well, which is another thing that we've improved, because if you recall, very early on, to make plates, apart from by getting them for free, uh, in quests and stuff, you had to use two ingots and a hammer to make one plate. Now it's one ingot per plate in this compactor. So we have a bunch of ingots downstairs. We can put the silver ingot, for example, into the compactor. Boop, there we go. It is using energy and it is twice as efficient. This is now very cheap. We made this, there was a quest. These were all quests, these are all quests. Everything here came from a quest because we had to make it and it took a lot of effort and there's still some gubbins left over in here from doing so. Uh, but you can, that was uh, pre predominantly my uh, contribution to the previous stream, which is to finally make these things. And we did make a sawmill. Now I made a sawmill before it was cool. So, cause I wanted to make slabs. What is this? Large oak double doors, that seems cool. Um, hold on, I'm just getting distracted, sorry. Excuse me? What? Why can't I break it? I can't break things with the chisel, it just comes back. What? That's amazing, we need to use that. Okay, now that I, one, two, is three wide and presumably three high. <gasps> That changes everything. <laughs> this is why uh, I prepare things up front rather than getting excited on stream. This could well easily go in here. I had to fill this in with a lot of design in order to get a small door to fit here. But what if this was, well, it's an even number wide now. I need that, but like one unit wider. <laughs> Moving on. Um, my, my last stream, I basically, I don't want to do any more building. I wanted to be able to make slabs. I wanted to be able to do some progression. I wanted to make tech. I love making tech. Um, so I did. Can we saw this in half? <coughs> we got wool cloth from extra panels. Filter, radiation layer. Press OK. A uh, flower pouch from Batania. That's one of the things that we're going to be looking at. Um, Batania is the the mod that introduces all of the flowers that Lawrence is playing with. Um, there's a lot of mana involved up there. Mm. And then the carpenter can basically do anything, apparently, with some very expensive, expensive uh, liquids. Let's have a look at what other people are doing. I will check back in my notes, which is just Discord, and try and find a list of anything that anyone did. Because it wasn't all just me. Uh, and you can go and check out the stream, of course. There's a, a VOD on Twitch available. Um, Mike spent most of the stream despairing at people who can't climb his tower. Uh, he did the sorcery. You've seen the tower. We started with the tower. It was a very impressive tower. Um, and there's a lot. I was thinking of building a fort around it as well. So maybe that can go out into the sea or something. There's, there's a lot to do. He went mining. We've got a lot of chalk. Apparently chalk is necessary. Um, and oh, he's built another building, so I'll show you that in a minute as well. And in between, he's made uh, some decorations in said building, but I don't have a copy of that just yet because that's still on the server. We haven't done it. Uh, Pete is doing even more cooking, which is brilliant. Oh, you wouldn't have seen, I just flew over all of those greenhouses without even mentioning them. So we'll have a look at those as well in a second. Uh, exploring for sacrificial chickens, failed, okay. Uh, mystical agriculture, that's a cool thing. So Pete's been starting on mystical agriculture, we'll have a look at that. There's been a lot of quests with rewards from mystical agriculture, but um, this is a mod where you basically, you can grow resources. Um, 
in, in the ground. There's essentially magical plants, um, which they, they produce crops which are like fragments of resources and then you can combine them into the full resource. So it's, it's quite slow, um, but it, it can be automated. So that's also helpful. So it's basically infinite stuff just over time. Uh, Tristan did some smelt requests, various various quests really, he did some mining, got a lot of redstone. We did need a lot of redstone to do those quests. So let's have a look at these greenhouses. These showed up between the two streams. Uh, I think this was on the previous stream already. This uh, what I'm calling the car park, which is actually a, a grow house. But this, um, this area, it's the same farms that we knew from before. But it's really annoying that you can't get in this way. You have to go in from the sides. Um, I'm not a town planner or a city designer or even an architect of any description. But if you're going to have a walkway between these things, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just have it open? Like any any good garden centre would have an indoor greenhouse bit, and then sort of the, the doors would be open so that you could go into the back garden. Um, but I'm going to break it because. I can't, I can't, I can't, oh, I broke it with a chisel in there, there we go. Um, I want to have a look over here. This is the original kitchen, which is now part of the greenhouse ensemble. All of this is the same farm, it's just now we can't land on it with our slime slings. Um, so there's lot, lots of stuff that's been going on. There's a lot more things to eat. Pete's been making a lot more food, which is brilliant. Let's have a look for this mystical agriculture stuff that he mentioned then. Fish bash, and just let me out, thank you. <gasps> We've got so many ender lilies as well. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt in creative mode, I suppose. Fully grown, so we should be able to harvest those, uh, unless he already has. Where is the mystical agriculture stuff? He said that he started it. Oh, these punji sticks. Mike was trolling everybody in the uh, first of the two streams with these punji sticks. This place is nearly empty as well. Uh, so Pete kept dying by walking into them, because they poison you and hurt. In fact, am I now poisoned? I, I, I don't know. Um, might would be very helpful by leaving them, for example, in the entrance to here whilst I'm still working on it and stuff like this. Obviously, none of my buildings has a roof yet. That's because it takes a lot of effort to make a roof and I'm too lazy to do it. Uh, and I really, really wanted to get the sawmill done and other things like that so that I could start crafting all of the ingredients required to make a roof. This looks like Mr. Collective Culture. Um, or roofs on the various things. Uh, yeah, so have a look at this. We'll, sh we'll show you how it works right now. Uh, you go away. So this is a fully grown stone plant. This is a fully grown wood plant. This is a nature plant, which I think literally just turns into... Um, oh, dirt. I can use it for various different things, which is interesting. I didn't know that, actually. So nature essence is just some ephemeral, abstract concept of nature, which you can craft into stuff. Uh, nine of them makes a melon, three of them in that... So the, the combination, the order in which you make them makes a um, different thing each time. I think these are all uh, vanilla outputs, so it doesn't necessarily work for all the other ones. But if you take stone essence, for example, which I can't do because I can still pick things up even though my inventory is full. Uh, again, you... So this is a new thing. There's uh, different essences as well that combine into different things. That's granite. Uh, well, apparently they all need a nether quartz essence, which is going to be very difficult to get to because, oops, um, I think you have to start with nether quartz. Uh, blocks of it. We're struggling for that and we still haven't got any and <laughs> we can't do anything with it. Um, so the way it works, if we have a look at this, is that there's a, there's a crafting seed, which is made of seeds and prosperity shards, which we were struggling to find at one point, but now we found them. And also we've been given base crafting seeds really from a uh, quests anyway, so we didn't need to worry too much. Uh, Inferium Essence, which we've seen a lot of, turns it into a craft tier 1 crafting seed, but to upgrade it you need Prudentium Essence, which is uh, blah blah blah, and then for the tier 3 one you need this Mana Steel, this Dilithium, this Osram, all of this intermediate, like, this stuff is made of the layer before it, and one of these, and then one of these is made of horrible stuff, blah blah blah, right, Mana Diamond. So you can see that the mods have all been working together with one another, and Pete's this is why the list of things people do is not very long, but the amount of stuff that people did is huge, because the mana diamond is made back up the tower, because that's what the mana is for in the first place. So you're making one of those, you're turning that into that, you're turning that into that. 
apparently it comes from a legendary loot bag as well. Uh, and then all of that turns into these. Because uh, that would be how you make the nether quartz seeds from nether quartz and that seed. I think all the seeds that we have so far have actually come from quests. I don't know if Pete made any. I expect possibly he did, because they might even be in the quest to make them. Um, but as that expands, you can start using machines to harvest them. And then you can start using machines to craft them and turn them into the actual things that you want. Which is where we want to get to. We really want to be able to do automatic crafting, where you just drag things in from an inventory, shove it in the machine, and then it spits out whatever you want. And then you can have basically an endless supply of roof for example which is where i want to get to as we've mentioned this is mike's um new crafting area so i was it's actually a lot smaller but now that it's built up um we may have to expand this and the idea was there that because we have just, just smash everything uh over here I, when i put these things down i just wanted to get the quests done and i wanted to get the machines built it's getting cramped you know there's no organization and there's no real room for any more things here there's no room for more power generation there's no room for all the wiring that we need because of course that was just running through the floor at this point uh we've we've made a lot more of smeltery stuff as well but we're all we've seen that um so i was thinking maybe we build this place and this is actually a lot smaller than i thought as well but that was going to be one of multiple buildings and then these were going to be sort of batteries where there's machines producing RF and storing it um, and th those can be over here basically so I don't need that I don't need those blueprints anymore those uh, foundations um, we can start putting some of that stuff over here in fact this is going to be very helpful because I'm sure at some point there will be a way of uh, automatically drawing infinite water from a pond like this um, it could even be on the roof because this is begging for another story and then um, yeah, this I think this is going to need more space because we're going to find out quite how much stuff there is to craft, and it's insane. There's a lot to craft. Uh, so this is going to be sort of a machines room and a crafting room and stuff like that. Uh, I know that he's updated this. There's more that he's done on the server since this safe was made, um, and we'll see what he's done on the stream. So don't forget to watch the stream. Uh, but it looks like next stream, then we're really going to be focusing on getting these machines moved, getting things set up in a slightly more organized fashion so that we can actually make the stuff that we want to make um, dead easily because so many buildings are unfinished and they will be finished much quicker if I can please have a quick way of making all the materials because I spent hours on this and it all took time because I was making materials and also handing in quests and trying to figure out what to do with all these loot bags and stuff but the majority of it was constructing the panels that I needed. Um, so over here, this is Lawrence's stuff. This is a mana pool now. So we've been making mana finally. This thing in the middle here is a dead flower, which was, it did say that would happen. Um, you can produce mana for an hour from, this used to be a Hydro Angel. Everything in this mod is a pun. This is Britannia. Um, this one is still alive, so you can see Britannia, Britannia, up there in the corner. Um, this, machine here so you, you put plants around which produce uh, mana this one for example will produce it from coal so let's take a block of coal throw it on the ground and this will produce one block of it will consume the block only one at a time though turn it into mana and then this thing will take mana from any nearby generating plants and shoot it at the mana pool that it is associated with. And this thing here will apparently tell you if you are adding mana or extracting mana. And you can see how it's glowing now. I don't think it was glowing just before. Um, every time that pulses mana into it, this seems to release spores, which is kind of gross, but okay. Uh, and this used to be creating mana from all this water and you now it's dead, but we can make another one. That will produce mana for an hour, but it's free. This one produces mana as much as you want to, but you have to put coal in it. Um, and then all of this, look, here's the uh, pure daisies that we talked about maybe last time, which used to, again, all be down in the little hut underneath um, the barracks. And there's going to be a lot more. There's going to be a huge amount more stuff up here. Uh, all of that is necessary because Pete needs it for his 
growing stuff because mana, diamonds, and mana steel, so far we've already seen a part of Botania. Uh, not Botania, mystical agriculture. There's a lot to say. I've been going on for 25 minutes now. And every time we do something, what is this little quarry thing? Every time we do a stream, there's even more to say um, because it gets more and more complex. So if you want uh, less of a bitty summary and more of an actual idea of what the heck is happening, then come and watch the stream. That's the whole point. Uh, I like this. This is a cute fish. It's a sandstone quarry, I suppose. Um, Mondays at half past seven in the evening. British time, where we just keep going. There's so much to do, and we're barely like an umpteenth of the way through these quests. Um, we haven't even unlocked half of them, <laughs> and we're barely halfway through the other ones. Well, we're quite far through this one. Um, and Lawrence is streaming, I'm streaming, and everyone else. Lawrence's stream will have mini streams from other people. Uh, I wanted to do that, but it completely killed my computer, so I can't. But you can see what other people are doing if you want to watch Lawrence's stream, uh, except me, because I also couldn't send my stream to him <laughs> for similar reasons. So if you want to watch what I'm doing, which you do, you have to watch my stream either instead or as well. But yeah, all of this is going on. We have not even started any of our major building projects because we really, really, really need to get some automated crafting going before we can do that. Maybe next week I will be able to get to the point where I can put lids on these buildings, but I don't want to spend the entire stream just putting a lid on a building, that's boring. Um, I'll show you what I was do with it though. Um, I think it's called a frame. So you see these, this, I was trying to show you this the other week actually. I don't need to, that's okay. So these frame slants, I showed you in terms of um, fences maybe? Right. Just one please. Well. I've already shown you. This is what you can do with them. So you put them on here like this, and then you pick your uh, texture by using another thing. Does paper work? No. Uh, oh, does this work? <laughs> that would be sweet. Whoa! And uh, I can't remember if this consumes the block. We'll have to check that when we do the uh, when we do the stream. Oh, they go sideways. So it would seem that the corner of, so I'm aiming at a different, imagine this has got an X in the middle of it. I'm aiming at the quadrant. So the top quadrant does this, the left quadrant does this, bottom quadrant does this, and this quadrant does this. That's neat, because then you could have, uh, was that the right hand quadrant? Yeah. You could have some sort of you could use the same texture. What does wool look like on these? Do you see? You could have some sort of thing in the corner. In fact, I like the way that sort of stops there in time for the torch. That's pretty cool. Um, you could have a wool roof. Um, how do I get that off there? <laughs> Empty hand? I, I, I've gone back to experimentation, yeah. Empty hand and shift right click. Or just right click, yeah, shift right click. Or sneak right click, I suppose. Uh, but you can see that you would build the whole roof from that, or maybe have an up and then a slant and then a shape. You can do what you want. There's so many of these. And that's just those frames. There's frame slabs, which are made of three blocks. So all of these is just a lot of, lot of sticks, right? That's made of two blocks. There's all, oh, this corner as well, look. Give me some of those. So this presumably has the same... Um, yeah, look, presumably it has the same laying down like uh, rules. Hmm, not quite sure what I'm doing there. Bottom left, bottom right. Got lost. Top left, top right. Okay, so that's that's based on a. It's different. <laughs> that's annoying. But again, you can put these in different orders, which is brilliant. So now you can sort of have a corner in the roof. Like that. The, the corner you click on, it's basically saying where does the corner go. So for these ones, it's the edge that's there. On this one, it's the corner. So you click and it puts the corner there. Uh, so we could have some sort of interesting patterns of roof. So I want to make a lower lower of these, right? Um, but the thing is, they're made of sticks, which are made of just two pieces of wood. Uh, can I just have a normal stick so I don't have to... 
what is the recipe for this stick? Right, smelting. You can smelt frozen splinters. You can extract it from a dead bush. Bonsai trees will make them. In fact, the hop we should probably try and make a hopping bonsai thing, which is something I talked about in the first place. Uh, we can turn uh, mob drops, dungeon chests, manufactory. So there's one way of doing it. I was kind of hoping that we could um, make it in. Because look, the saw turns two of them into four sticks. So I was hoping that maybe the saw mill would turn wood planks into sticks. But it's turning them into slabs, obviously. Slab turns into sticks? Can't put slabs in there. Fine. Uh, which is a shame. So yeah, I'd like to be able to automate sticks. If we can automate sticks, we can automate those. If we can automate those, we can build entire roofs. And of course, I'm flying right now. It takes even longer if you can't actually fly. But yeah, until next time, thanks for watching this half hour video where I said I would stop talking in five minutes ago and then talk for another five minutes. Um, and do join us on the stream to see how all this pans out. We're going to have a huge amount more building. We've got all that space as well. Look, we haven't even, that's just the current perimeter. We've got lots to build. We're going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, and look forward to automation when we finally get around to that. So, Sunday, no, Monday, 19.30. Half past seven in the evening, British time. There's four of us playing. At least one of us is always down the mine gathering redstone and doing nice stuff like that. And the rest of us are trying to build stuff or make stuff work. There's so much to do, so much more to see. And we'll all be flying around with slime slings, which you can't see on these videos because I don't have one. But I can make one, but I'm not going to. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.